Allison Huish was diagnosed with brain cancer at the tender age of 13, and she used frankincense oil to treat it. Here's her amazing story. I walked out of the waiting room about an hour later to see my mom, who had just hung up the phone um, with tears in her eyes. And she told me, she said, Allison, you have a brainstem tumor. Um, and I didn't know quite what that meant. You know, I was 13 years old. I just started junior high school a couple weeks prior. Um, but I knew at that moment that my life would be different from there on out. Um, so we immediately went to go see my doctor, to my pediatric neurologist, um, and he showed my parents what the tumor was. Um, basically, it was a brainstem tumor, pilocytic astrocytoma is what it was, um, about the size of an egg, and it rested on my brainstem. So that next day, I was scheduled for emergency surgery, and um, they were able to get rid of about half my tumor. It was very interesting. Um, my doctor told me, eat all the calories you can. If you'll eat pizza, if you'll eat ice cream, because I was very skinny, he's like, just get calories in you, whatever you'll take. But in our research, we learned how nutrition was so important. I needed to give my body good calories to help support good, healthy weight gain, support the cell so I would function better. And then we started doing research on what to do. And of course, many people were pushing us to go see our radiologist and go that direction. Um, my mom and I, we did go meet with our radiologist. And I still, to this day, remember sitting in that room, um, the feelings that I felt in there. I, it, it was very cold. It was very cold. It was not what I wanted to do. And I actually left that appointment and I grabbed my mom's hand and I told my mom, mom, this isn't this process for me. And so she said she had also felt the same way. But we left that radiologist appointment knowing we need something else. Um, and that's where we were really drawn towards essential oils. Um, they kept coming across in a lot of our research. We noticed how essential oils did incredible things. There's medical studies out there showing what essential oils can do. Um, and in particular with essential oils, we were really drawn towards frankincense essential oil. Um, I love frankincense oil, it's a very powerful oil. I think there's a reason why it's called liquid gold or why it's one of the oils that the Christ child was given. It's a very, very precious oil. Um, so I use a lot of oils. I use a lot of frankincense oil. I also use clove oil. How did you take it? Did you ingest it or did you rub it on your skin? Yeah. Or did you do the aromatherapy? How did you do that? You know, it was really interesting how we did it. So I did do it back here where my scar is, um, but I don't know how effective that was because you do have a very thick skull. But one way that I did, and this was probably the way that was most consistent is, is I always put a drop of frankincense oil in my tongue and raise the tongue to the roof of my mouth. And I did that probably about every two hours because I figured, hey, that's probably the closest way I get to my brain stem without interfering with bones or things like that. And a lot of blood vessels there too to absorb. Mm -hmm. right. A lot of blood vessels, so just a lot internal. And what happened was actually quite incredible. So um, I started to gain health pretty quickly. Um, like I said, I started junior high school and then I was diagnosed three weeks later. Um, so I came home and started to regain health after my surgery. Um, I was able to start school again with my peers the next semester. Um, and that, that was pretty incredible. That's quick for a brain tumor. You know what, it was interesting. I was only in the hospital for about a week and a half. Most people are in there for about six weeks. Mm. But once I had my tumor, we started on good nutrition, we started on oils, and I just had an amazing recovery. And that took about three years. Okay. Took about three years, I would go see him. Um, but every time I'd go see him, it just slowly was improving. It wasn't dramatic overnight. It, it was a slow, gradual process. But it took about three years. Um, and I remember the point where I went to go see my neurologist, and he told me, you have no more tumor. It really? Was completely disintegrated. Wow. What, what, what did you feel like at that point? You know what? Words can't describe. It was just like such an emotional relief. Mm. Um, you know, I had been praying and I wanted my tumor to go away. And I was like, you know, I need another chance of life. And so when those words were said, it was invigorating. It was like I had a new life again. You know, I, w I wanted to go to college. I wanted to become a registered dietitian. I wanted to tell people my story. Mm -hmm. And when I was told those words, it was like, this happened. 
Um, and that was at the age of 16 then? That was about, yeah, the age of 16, okay. 17 is when that, that happened. Okay. So um, ever since then, my health has just been improving.